What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of a new tool called Opesta and I'm also going to explain to you why I'm leaving ManyChat. Now if you haven't watched my past videos I've been explaining how to use ManyChat to do different things and you're probably thinking Jelani why are you leaving ManyChat and the reason for that is this new tool called Opesta. Now Opesta is a Facebook automation tool. It is not a chatbot tool and they don't want to be called that so that's the first thing. Uh, but what it is, it's basically a way so you can interact with your users on your Facebook pages. Now, it can kind of get a little confusing like, well, isn't that what a chatbot is? Essentially, yes. However, this tool gives you a little more function functionality when it comes to different things. And I'm going to show you guys what those things are. Okay, so the first thing is Opesta doesn't launch until March 12th. I was uh, granted early access by my friend Spencer. Um, and the reason why he was giving early access is because he's actually working with them trying to get some people to use it So I was like cool. Let me check this out now um, If you have watched my past videos, you know that I do a lot of things with chatbots I build chatbots for people. I understand how to use chatbots So I went into this thinking okay This will be like another chatbot tool similar to ManyChat and in some instances It is another tool like ManyChat. However, there are some things that I'm really excited about so the first thing is when you go to a pesto, you're going to see this dashboard. It looks very similar to ManyChat and ChatFuel. Um, you can see these card icons here look very similar to ChatFuels. Uh, but again, this is just a, um, I think that this will advance really far from where it is right now. Um, today is what, March 4th and they launch March 12th. So after the March 12th launch date, I'm sure they're going to be adding different things and changing things up. But this is how it looks right now. And um, when you can see your active subscribers here. You can change the date from um, when people subscribe to when they unsubscribe. Um, so you can see here subscribers and unsubscribers, active subscribers. You can see I only have eight right here because I haven't transferred my subscribers from ManyChat, but once I do that, it will rise. Um, but you can see eight subscribers since March the 3rd and today's March 4th, so that's pretty good. Um, and then you can see that it says subscribe by triggers. We'll get into triggers in a moment. And then sequences finishes by goals. We'll get into that as well. So unsubscribe to zero, net subscribers, sim post zero. So you gonna get the same feel from ManyChat on the dashboard. Um, it's very similar in the subscribers as well. So you can see that my subscribers are here. Um, and these are people who are interacting with my page. So the cool thing about this is your subscribers are not in ManyChat. They're actually on Facebook. So when you go and get Opesto or um, sign up for an account, which you can do by clicking the link below that you can get free access, early access. Um, when you sign up and people interact with your chatbot, so if they reply to it, if they message it or anything like that, it's gonna go straight into a pesta. So this, you can see your uh, subscribers here. Um, if I were to click on one, you can see more information about them, the gender, their male, female, etc. when they subscribed. Um, so it's pretty staple for that. Uh, the broadcasts are very similar as well. So if I were to create a new broadcast, I would just create new broadcast. You can see draft, scheduled, history. So it's pr very similar um, to ManyChat. But I'm excited for this to show you guys this part. Um, when you get to campaigns, this is where you're able to set up like button actions, comment actions, and etc. Everything like growth tools in ManyChat, this is where um, those lie and they lie in the campaign settings. So it's a little more straightforward. Um, so what you would do is you would click add campaign. So let's give this a name. So let's say demo campaign and let's click create and we're gonna have to create a sequence. Now I'm gonna show you why sequences are really, really cool. And if you watch my webinar, uh, how to build a chatbot using ManyChat and launch a webinar on ManyChat, um, this is very cool because they actually give you the functionality inside of this without having to do all those different sequences inside ManyChat. So let's let's just give this a demo name. So just say demo create. And now when you create your sequence, you have three options. You can see the triggers, the content, or the goals. Now the trigger is how you would set up. That's essential to Essentially, it's basically a growth tool, but that's how you would set up a button trigger, comment trigger, checkbox trigger, tag trigger, keyword trigger, or URL trigger. So for button trigger, um, you know, that's just, you know, a button on a page. Um, oops, let's just go back here. Um, so yeah, so a button trigger would be just be a button on the page. Um, a comment trigger would be like if you said fish, comment fish if you want to learn how to make the best fish recipes, right? Then it would send the message out. A check, a check box trigger is um, very similar to the button. I don't know why I keep clicking on it, but let's just go back. Hopefully, 
we can't go back there so let's just do that one more time um but you get the idea so you would set up the trigger here or you could um and you can set up multiple triggers so we can add a new trigger here and you can set up different triggers based on this one sequence so if you want to have a common trigger with a check checkbox trigger on the sequence you can um but let's actually go into the content section so the content section is where you would set up your messages so i can add content you can set up tags here so if you wanted to set up a tag before um sending the message so for example if i wanted to say add tag phishing right and it will create that tag and then after that i can um, add a message so you can actually have delays on tags which is really really powerful if you understand automation and if you come from an email automation background, you would understand that adding tags and adding different delays based on um, time periods or hours or anything like that is really, really um, uh, powerful in terms of automation and getting those messages out to people. So again, you can change you can change the delay timer to any day, specific day of the week, specific date, um, between specific dates. Etc. So you can kind of make this immediately if you wanted to. So attack this person immediately as soon as they say boom, 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 right? Another cool thing is you can use the subscriber's time zone, which is awesome because some people, um, you know, live different places, right? I live in Eastern Standard Time, so that's definitely different than someone who lives in the UK, right? So you kind of want to get that person when they are on their, you know, messenger. Um, so that's really cool. Then you can just add the message after. So you can say, I want to send a message, create a new message, and boom, right? So it looks very similar to ManyChat. And you're probably thinking, Jelani, this is literally ManyChat. Why are you switching? Um, there's two reasons. I'm going to give in, in the first reason in about two seconds. Um, and that's when you go back to the demo sequence here. And you go to goals. This is where the power comes in. So let's refresh this really quickly. Give it a second. Um, this is where the power comes in, okay? Now, you can click add goal and you can see that the first thing here is pixel, right? What is that? What is that? So let's click on it. What? Opesta figured out a way to add a pixel to a Facebook automation tool, right? And a lot of people in main chat were asking for this, like, can you please add a pixel to this so that we can, you know, track different people based on what they do? And main chat hasn't responded, and Opesta was like, you know what, let's do this. So this is what I'm really excited about. This is what I'm going to be using primarily in Opesta, um, is the ability to set up pixel goals based on what people go to. So I can set up a goal, like, for example, if I'm selling a book, right? and they land on my uh, order form, but they don't go to the thank you page, then I know they didn't order. But if they hit that thank you page, then I can send them a message because I set up the goal. So you can set up goals. Um, so let's say, let's say free fishing book or something, right? And then we can say, all right, I want this goal to um, end, or when, that, when this URL meets this following criteria, then that goal is going to end, right? So I would enter the URL here, I will save it. So let's just say phishing.com or something, right? So then it's going to know that that person went to phishing.com and once they complete this goal, then I would want them to send this message or subscribe them to a different sequence or do whatever. Like you can unsubscribe people based on what they, the actions they take instead of um, depending on them responding inside of the, the message right because that's what we had to do in main chat prior was they had to respond then we had to tag them unsubscribe them resubscribe them but here what we can do is do it automatically um based on pages okay this is so so powerful um and i'm super excited to kind of go into it and dive into it once they um do this the full launch because i will be able to set up diff i'm like the first thing i want to do is for my um affiliate funnel that i have going i want to have that pixel or the goal pixel in place so that when they go to the thank you page or the information page, I can be like, hey, I saw you check this out. Are you following the steps, right? So I can follow up with them because I know they checked out the page, right? I know they already subscribed to me. I know they checked out the page so that I can follow up with them 
day by day because it's a seven day training so i can say day one did you hey did you check this out day two did you do this day three right and etc keep going um so i'm super excited about this and that's one of the one of the reasons why i'm leaving many chat just because of this feature right here the second reason i'm leaving many chat is because they uh opesta has an affiliate program um, and the affiliate program is really good. So you can sign up for the affiliate program right now. There's gonna be a link below so you can sign up. Uh, make sure you get your Opest account with the link below first and then get the affiliate account because you won't be able to do it uh, reverse. Like you can't get an affiliate account without an Opesta account. So the uh, affiliate program um, is 40% reoccurring commissions based on every single person that signs up underneath you and then you get 5% for recruit affiliates for underneath that person. So if I recruit person A, and person A recruits person B, then I would get 5% of that commission from person B. Um, so it's really powerful, and Opesta actually has a sticky cookie, which is very similar to what ClickFunnels is doing. They have a sticky cookie, so if someone clicks on your link, and they don't buy, but then they see an advertisement later down the road, and they clicked on it, then you will get that reoccurring commission. Now. They haven't actually created a pricing structure or released a pricing structure yet. Again, this is pre-release. The release is March 12th and it's March 4th. So they haven't really put up the pricing structure yet. But once that comes out, um, you you know, you would see how much you would be making per month per person. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. But the thing about this is that many chat, chat field, they don't have affiliate programs. And there's lots of people who um, are on those programs, on those monthly reoccurring plans that other people you know drove them to right like i drove a lot of people to many chat i drove a lot of people there based on my videos saying hey this is a cool thing you can do with facebook your facebook pages why don't you go check out many chat but i'm not getting any type of commission for that i'm driving lots of traffic to them but they're not um compensating me for that and i think it's cool that opesta is doing that for their their members so coming forward guys i'm going to give you guys really cool videos on opesta because i already started doing different things and trying to um, figure out like how I'm going to implement these goals. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Um, but it's really powerful stuff. And I think it's going to kind of take Facebook automation tools like this. And um, I think I think main chat and chat you have to catch up at this point, especially from marketing standpoint, because it's all about automating things, right? Finding the system and then automating it. Um, so the fact that Opesa is doing that and it's kind of the first automation tool that's designated for Facebook Messenger is really powerful um, and I'm super excited to kind of give you guys more videos on this. So guys, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, give me a comment below. I'm going to start doing some giveaways so people are more interact interactive with these videos because I really like interacting with people in my videos and it doesn't seem like people are are more motivated to like kind of do that so i'm going to start giving things away so make sure you comment below because you never know when i'll give something away all right um and if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe and again if you want to pest the account click the link below that's the only way you can get free access right now because it's um it's pre pre-release so definitely click that link and you'll get access so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it shows you something new um because there's all different new tools out there and you just gotta find the good ones so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.